So, another day, another lead product. Yeah, this is the PL Psych 1 from Philips Celicon, and it uses the same RGBW engine um, as found in the PL1 and PL3 fixtures, which we've become familiar with over the past couple of years. Okay, three kilos, uh, impact resistance, plasticky. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, ma it's made of plastic. Um, it's got integral safety wire, which I like. It's included, and you can't yep. actually remove that, so gives people a good incentive to use it. Virtually it's cold there. Um, put your ear here, tiny little fan in there. Bit of heat coming out the top. Yeah, when that fan's going to kick in is, um, is the more colours in the chip you've got on at high intensity, obviously, the more the fan's going to need to run to cool out. Um, the thing is, if you think about mixing a colour with an RGBW chip, you're not likely to ever have every colour on at full intensity. Okay. So they've the got, fan they've got cool a port, than it needs to. Uh, a port on the back. Yeah, there's a little port on the back, and you can see there's there's a couple of screw holes adjacent to that. That's for a wireless DMX module, which is actually pretty well priced too. Um, and once you attach the wireless DMX module, um, that then inputs DMX obviously into the fixture, but then you get a loop out from the fixture's DMX output. So if you need to get wireless to a row of fixtures, such as you would be really using these with, mm -hmm. it's pretty easy. You wireless into one of them, then cable from the rest. So yeah, look, it's designed. Uh, it's designed really to replace, you know, the, the four the four four way psych baton. If you think about you know, sort of a four way psych baton, um, plus you know some dimmers to run it, and obviously the extra cabling infrastructure. Um, cost wise, it actually comes up comparatively not that much more than having a four way baton. Really, the difference is that you get more than four colours out of it. Mm. How many colours would you get? Well, it's RGBW, yeah, so you can get lot. whatever you can mix. Okay, all right. So, so it dims, it makes colours. Yeah, it dims. There's um, there's also a fade uh, a fade time control available. Um, so if, if you want to run really long fades, so that you can actually have the fixture manage its own fade time, which is kind of cool. Um, Bit like you at night. Yeah, my, my own fade time is poorly managed at night. Um, this is probably a better option. But yeah, look, it, it's it's designed to be spaced at about 1.2 metre intervals on a bar and at about 1.2 metre throw distance from the psych. Um, and you know, so with, with nine or 10 of these, you could cover uh, a 10 metre wide psych mm. easily. Um, it'll do around about sort of five metres in height on a psych, if you're going to go more than that, you probably need to go for a ground row. And to run ground row, you just spin the yoke around and spin it around run it yeah. like that. And interestingly enough, it doesn't actually point like that against the psych. It points with the back face parallel to the psych, mm -hmm. and that's what gives you that nice yeah. even projection yeah. because of the design of the reflector. See, even I know that. Indeed. Um, and designed and built in New Zealand. There you go. Go the Kiwis. PL Psych One.